Hey everyone, it's your favorite monkey and welcome back to Starbase. And it has been quite a few days since I actually recorded. For you guys, it's probably back-to-back -back episodes, but for me, it's been a quite, actually quite a few days and very productive. And I see there's a lot of people that has joined. Oh, look, two more K-Bot brethren. Right, so today I'm going to show you guys that uh, what I'm working on. Oh, wow, that's a big, uh, big ship over there. I'm uh, going to show you guys what I've been working on with the ship designer. So I think on the start of every episode, I'm going to show you guys the progress I've made. And then, um, you know, then whatever features in the video. And today we it's going to be another mining episode because I've been busy buying. <laughs> well, I've been buying ships, a lot of them. And first of all, I'm going to start with this one. This is a little port shuttle, which is a really, really nice. A little thingy at the k bots right over there you can purchase it um i was looking for a little ship to traverse around the you know station and uh yeah let's go ahead and i will show you guys so first of all um it doesn't have any weapons doesn't have any mining or anything it is literally literally just a shuttle ship and it is pretty cool i'm gonna show you guys it has a Crosshair. I'm gonna call this crosshair. So actually, the thing in the center of the screen is a crosshair, but uh, this thing over here, I will call it a crosshair. Uh, it does have position, positional things like um, GPS and whatnot in it. Ison, Ison. I think it's a quad. Yeah, quad Ison. Um, that just means better GPS than normal. <laughs> and the best thing about this is it has a ridiculous amount of speed ridiculous amount let me show you guys look at this thing go this is amazing this is what i wanted all right and another cool thing i want to show you guys all right let's get closer to the station don't crash oh we're not gonna crash look at that reverse baby we got a reverse thrusters as well. Well, minor reverse, but it's really cool. So you can, before you crash, you just hit the brakes and then suddenly reverse, which is nice. And it also has this little handy approach thingy, but I can't really figure it out. Uh, let's just get to somewhere close. Uh, maybe those pads over there. These landing pads. And I've got to say that like this ship's strewn all over the place, like all the pl this is space trash man <laughs> come on <laughs> devs please clean up so what we can do is let me just get a little bit closer because i might I'm, I'm gonna look like an idiot so i'm gonna point to there i'm gonna press this approach button it's gonna fire out a little beam and it's gonna show me the distance over here how far it is and yeah getting closer getting closer And it stops automatically. Although I did hit reverse uh, before hitting it. Like so. There we go. And there's somebody. Oh, there's somebody flying there. I wonder if it's that little UFO thing. But anyways, let us move on to... Uh, uh, uh. There. we are. I'm going to show you guys what we are building. Um, it is a mining ship. I have been buying mining ships, different ones, to try to figure out which one works the best. I did buy one which I had my eyes set on, which I'm going to show you guys a little bit later. So stick around for that. Uh, but most of them aren't really good. There is one at the K-Bots I want to test out because it has really, really cool... Um, how can I put it? Uh, cool features. Hey, look, there's a, there's a member. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, I hate it when people are in the way. Alright, there we go. Just slowly, slowly. Get in here. Reverse, reverse. There we go. And let's just tilt ourselves back. I know this is a little bit boring, but if this ship wasn't in the way, this would have gone much, much faster. Hit reverse. There we go. Stay. I <laughs> just pointed at it. Stay. Alright, uh, I should have gone to the other one, but hey, it's fine. 
So we are gonna I'm gonna show you guys just the, the ship editor. I'm gonna start a private session. Uh if I have people in my party, which maybe happy boy over there. Um if if he was in my group, then he could have joined me in this, I think. I think. Yeah, I think so. Uh but anyways, this is the ship editor. Uh right click to pan around, right click hold to pan around. We are on the private session, nothing is here. This is literally an empty area. And uh, yeah, this is where you go ahead and design your ships and whatnot. So I've, I've been spending some time in here. There was one time where I've spent about a whole day in here, but I'm going to show you guys why. So let me go and open up this one. 1.30 in the morning. I've been busy with this, this guy. Okay, so... Um, this is just a skeleton, the frame. So what I want to do is first build the frame, then um, add the engines or the plates, plating, then the engines, then the cockpit, and then the wiring, and then all the other things and whatnot. But mainly what this is, is um, the door is going to go here, right? Come in here, and then over here is going to be one, two, three, four stacked uh, uh yeah too high and many up until at least i think about here it's going to be a, that many crates on this side and on this side so there's going to be a lot of crates um a few box thrusters at the back i think it's going to be not box thrusters um angle which is going to be two of them at the back uh then at the side there and there is going to be box thrusters and then one two three four generators and two medium tanks i think i put here two propellants um i'm still trying to figure out like there's coolants and radiators and um uh things things there's even the yolo i still have to figure out like this is gonna be a massive undertaking but anyways it's just gonna be a normal sort of ship uh the cockpit's gonna be about here so we're gonna you're gonna be uh, sitting around here ish fly around you have your buttons and things, whatnot. Um, I think of maybe adding a ma uh, laser liner, <laughs> lasing, laser, mining laser to it as well. And uh, yeah, so this is basically how you edit the ship. You go look for, you start off your beams. Um, the attachments are all the plates, or these normal small plates. They, they attach your beams. These beams, if I try to fly this thing right now, all of these beams will break off because they are not, they are not attached. So I have to go and um, make sure that these guys are like attached. I uh, wish I could show you like a proper way. A proper. Uh, maybe this one. Uh, yeah. Okay. This, as you guys can see, it will it will fit in there. Come on. Like so. You know, that and then I bolt that down and then there we go. Bob's your uncle. Um, it's, it's it's then attached but luckily there's a handy tool uh, one of these i think it's bolt or auto bolt or something one of these it automatically does the thing for me so that and then there's like the the like various things windows and things so that is going to be it's going to be a long time so um every start of every episode i will bring you guys here then we will you know discuss what's going on and you guys can leave comments in the comment section if you want to you know add to whatever we should do to this but for now this is it as soon as this thing is done and it's flyable and you know i can do mining and whatnot with it i am going to switch over to the other idea i have so uh that's going to be also it's going to be much bigger than this thing much much bigger well, not much bigger just about twice its size i would say maybe three times bigger because yeah there's ideas ideas i have and all right let's exit out of here um and you know what give, give me a second I am going to grab a ship I bought and show you guys the sheer power of a good mining vessel, but it can be better, hence this thing. So hold on tight, we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. So this ship is called the Heptophily. Uh, it is made by the Duratec guys, which is over there. I think you can find it not in that hangar, the one on the opposite side or somewhere. Um, it's made by Duratech. It's really cool. It's got a couple of cool functions and whatnot. I will show you guys in a second. Um, but it's good. It's good. All right, I, I do enjoy 
using it. You know what? Let me just show you guys. <laughs> Here it is. Cost you about 40, 46, between 40 and 50 mil is what it costs. Hey, what's this? Did somebody drop a pickaxe? Somebody drop a pickaxe. And uh, yeah, okay. Anyways, this is it. Uh, it's got four mining lasers, which is really, really cool. This thing's gigantic. It's got a cockpit over there. Um, I will show you guys in a second, like what's what's going on. It's got two seats, uh, four mining lasers. It's got um, ore collection as well there at the back, so it collects the ore. It's got lights. It's got a um, uh, thrusters, RCS on the sides and whatnot these are lights as well uh, more rcs it's got a ton of engines in the back angle thrusters and here is the cockpit but we cannot really enter from here no 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 you have to go in here first of all you do have a hatch but but i ran out of electricity or battery power I had to spawn it in at one of the refilling stations. Uh, if I can just find one there. I had to spawn it in. And over there is the, the bridge resource. Right there. That's a bridge resource. And you, in order... I need to access that and plug it into the base over there. In order to recharge the batteries. Now, this thing didn't have any power. So this hatch was closed. So I had to forcefully remove the hatch so i decided to leave it as is so it is broken let's go inside i'll show you guys in here um wow i have to change out these things so before we go on a, like a mining trip i'm going to change out these guys real quick like because they're it's supposed to have full bars not half but anyways um it's got two four six eight ten twelve fuel cells fuel rods and extra 12 to spare so yeah, this thing is is massive, um, but it does get drained really quickly. Just you know, I'm gonna point that out right now. It's kind of a faulty thing. I I wouldn't recommend recommend this thing. Good mining, good mining potential. It just it drains these fuel cells really quickly. Like you have to make sure you earn enough monies from the uh, mining in order to sustain this. Luckily, I can sort of do that. I don't have an issue. But you do have these backup ones, but make sure to refill the backup ones. Like, you have to go buy new ones. Um, make sure that it's fully stacked so you don't run out of fuel like what I did. With me, basically. Alright, so that's that. Um, over here is the, the cockpit. And we can just go ahead and press that button. It lowers down. But up until only there. We just wait for that. Alright, so here we are. Uh, let's go ahead and press the cockpit button. Oh, look at that. This is a really cool feature. I do like it. So it's a nice field of view around us, although not below us. But you don't really need that. But the sheer scale of this thing is kind of hard to pilot from here. Um, that is why I kind of like the second chair. And we can, we can just jump off. I kind of like the second chair. Because you don't have that field of view around you, but you still can, you can get uh, an idea of the size of whilst flying around. A uh, bunch of buttons here, so I can save waypoints and whatnot. I already have a waypoint saved. Um, we can go slow, total mode. Uh, we can close the hatch, but it's <laughs> it's off. We have lights on the inside, which really cool. Cool looking lights up this area. Um, inside as well, really cool. We got spotlights on the outside as well. And what else do we have? Oh, we have lasers to point us the way. These four beams on the outside. Okay, here to go do this. Um, over here. Okay, I will show you guys when we go do mining. I'm going to show you guys what all this is all about. This is really cool. This is why I bought it. This is this. Ah, oh, this is so cool. But I will show you guys in a, in a soon. And uh, yeah. Other variable things. Um, there's our thrust. Show how much thrust we're putting out. Um, there is an AD. Uh, Asteroid detection, collision, avoidance system, whatever. That That's what that one is for. Uh, our battery power, we always keep an eye on that. Make sure if, if that drains, nothing works. That's what happened to me last time. 
Um, that's why I keep this thing on mining mode, but I will show you guys what that does. Uh, it does show you like your fuel rods, how much is left, um, and your backup ones, which you have. So even that, look at that, that thing, look, it's draining. Yeah, it's draining, so, so, yeah, it's kind of a bummer. Anyways, let me go ahead and uh, change up these guys real quick, like. I have to go buy 12 new ones, and then we don't have to change this out. I'll meet you guys back in the asteroid field, so hold on tight. Alright, welcome back. So, we have our first victim. I don't know if I'm close enough, but anyways, let me go ahead and show you guys what I mean about this. First of all, I am going to bring all these up. Basically, that is the collectors in each of these ports. And these two levers, they control the speed of which your lasers do mine. So, first of all, how this ship works is we have to be in... Let me just switch that off. Uh, we have to activate mining mode. Then we have to deep park our lasers, so they fold out, as we can see by the shadows. So now they're pointing outwards. Let me just go ahead and turn off pathfinding. Uh, I usually have this pathfinding up just to point, <laughs> show myself which way I'm going. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, we have a static which locks the beam in a certain position. And just fires straight in that certain position. Uh, we have wipe. And it sweeps around. And cuts the asteroid that way. And then there's a drill. I didn't get much use of the drill. Basically what it does. It, it drills out an area. So I think if there's like a big asteroid. Like a gigantic one. What it does. It cuts out a big, big, big hole. Um... And then you can fit through with the whole ship. You can start tunneling yourself. Basically, what Elon Musk's company, uh, the Boring Company, this ship it kind of represents a miniature version, or maybe exactly the same size. Uh, either way, but it does exactly the same thing, this mode. But let's go ahead and do static and show you guys. So there we go. It's a little bit loud. But as we can see, my lasers are like kind of missing the asteroid. So what we can do, we can switch this off. What I'm going to do is just switch off turtle because we will... The slow and turtle, those two buttons, they mess around a little. So what I'm going to do is just keep my eye on the thrust over there. And ever so slightly scrooch closer. And then just use my thrusters, my RCS at the bottom. And top, just to, otherwise we crash into it. And then go up just a little bit more. This is how I kind of maneuver. It takes a lot of time to do this. Here we go. Now we're a little bit closer. I'll show you guys the sweep. This is, this is what I like. This is the wipe. I call it sweep, but this is what I like. Uh, we're still a little bit too close, but we can remedy that. Go up a little and point downwards. Go up a little. And then point downwards. Just like that. Oh, oh. Going too fast. I get my controls up, mixed up a little. But yeah, there we go. Look at that. Cutting that asteroid up like it's a piece of cake. Now, what we can do is we can... Let's quickly stop this. Point uh, a little bit better. And then switch it on again. And then slow it down. So now what we can do is just... You know, tilt back and forth, go up and down. Let the lasers do their work while we point the way. There we go. And let's switch that off and just bring that back up. Now that we have... How do we collect our bounty? Just press this button. And it sucks it all up. There we go. And we can see there's a little piece 
We can, we can switch on the spotlight and we can see there's a little piece right there which we missed. So what I like to do is switch on the static. As you can see, it is between us and the lasers. So I just point downwards until that laser kind of hits the sweet spot. Go down to the left or to the right. There we go. All done. All right. Let's go find our next victim. All right, here is our next victim. And I think I'm still a little bit too far away. So I'm just gonna ever so slightly push ourselves a little bit closer. I'm going to start activating the lasers. Oh, there, there we go. Much better. Come on, turn, baby. Oh, and I want to turn off the collector. Come on. A little bit forward. There we go. Much better. Yes. There we go. Lovely. Now, this is amazing. I do love this. This is this is a this is ship I've been using for mining lots and lots of mining, and let me go ahead and collect our bounty. Yes, yes. Uh, just actually want to see put on the spotlights. Ever so slightly scooch closer. Just want to see if we did collect all the uh, important materials. Looks like it's sort of yes maybe. Eh. If I miss something, I miss something. All right. But anyways, that is that. So you guys probably want to see the other function. Um, happy to show it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just activate it. This is the drill. As we can see, it cuts out a large section in front of us. Very large section. So this is not good for these small asteroid minings at all. I tried before, I'd like drove or flew up against an asteroid, activated this, no. I would stay far away, no. The other two is fine for mining small asteroids. This one I think is for much, much bigger asteroids. And I know there are much bigger asteroids than uh, these ones we're getting here, but I'm, I'm fine with mining here. It's nice and safe. Let's go ahead and look at the ores we got. Look at that. So I would say around up until maybe here or here-ish is our old mining vehicle of ship. would have gotten its cargo capacity. This thing has a lot. Has a lot. It does fill up very quickly. Look, we just did two asteroids. And this is what we got. Although these ones is agitite ore, not really worth much. But these, like bastium and the other types of ore that sits within the agitite. And Valkyrite or something is the other one. Those are the ones you want. Those are the ones you want. If you guys saw like in my previous videos, like the um, uh, where I was mining the asteroids. Uh, the, it's good, good center. It's good, goodness inside of it. The goody goodness inside of the asteroids. Those are the things you want to try to mine out. And I feel like the static one is good. The one we just used is good to get that. So you leave the outer shell. You don't clog up your inventory with that kind of stuff. But anyways, I am going to continue on mining. Uh, look at that. It hasn't been even 20 minutes and how much of that uh, fuel cells have been used back here. Look at that. That, that much. And I've just replaced all of these. All of these. Really replaced them. But anyways, um, yeah, so I think that concludes today's episode. If you guys want to see how this thing looks like with its lights on uh, or around, let's just go ahead and just, you know, add the bridge lights, spotlights. Is that all of the lights? Looks like it. Yeah, that looks like it. Go out here. And I will show you guys. Yeah. This is a, it looks like a mean fighting machine. 
but it's it's really not. It's a really good um, mining ship, but I would not really recommend it unless you know how it, this thing works and how it mines. I kind of jumped in the deep end, and it's not really my style. It doesn't really do what I wanted to do, but still, it's good. I like it. Anyways, people, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks so much for joining me here on Starbase. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.